with my church, the Bethel Church, located downtown Jacksonville. And we are meeting online as well at thebethelexperience.com or on Facebook and YouTube at the Bethel Church Jax. Shout out to my pastors, Bishop Rudolph Walter McKissick Jr. and Executive Pastor Kimberly McKissick and all of my Bethel family. Good morning to you. If you would like to shout out your church and your pastor, give me a call, 904-831-1079. 904-831-1079 is the number to call. You can also call that number for requests. And I've got a request this morning uh, from my son, Gavin. He wanted to hear uh, Ty Tribbett's new song, Get Up. So that's what we're going to do. We about to get up right here on Praise 107.9. All right, I know y'all can't hear it because I want to keep my thing on, uh, you know, uh, on air. Hallelujah. <laughs> but good morning. Listen, y'all, I couldn't go live this morning at the top of the show because there were so many uh, issues in the studio this morning. But I wanted to make sure that I... Uh, came to you because God really showed me some things and I and I want to make sure I know I shared the uh, Instagram link but I just I just want to reiterate that God really is amazing uh, and that God is working everything out for our good like he is really doing it he is doing it he is um making ways he is opening doors even in the midst of things going haywire. I walked in this morning, there were flashing lights, there were all kinds of things going on. And I was like, uh, this don't make no sense. Like the the, the screens were black. Um, I was like, what do I do? Um, and it just like this morning, it was just kind of indicative of like, what, who, what are you really doing, Jesus? What are you really doing? Because I don't understand. I really didn't understand what he was doing, how God was working it out. Because, like, it didn't make sense. It made no sense to me what he was doing, how he's doing. It still doesn't, quite frankly. But what do you do? When you feel like God is leading you a particular way and then it's not working out. No, no, no. I want to know. <laughs> Please tell me. <laughs> Please let me know. Let me know what you do. This morning, I chose to give God praise because yesterday I was frustrated. I was upset. I was verklempt even. And I was like, but God, I, I thought you said. This is what we were doing. I thought you said we were doing this. Um, I thought you you said we were doing this this way. Are we not? This ain't what we doing. So then, Lord, what are we doing? That's where I am. <laughs> so then, Lord, what are we doing? In the meantime, though, y'all, in the meantime, I'm giving him praise, I'm giving him honor, I'm giving him glory because he is do it. And because if he's allowing this upheaval, this uh all of this to be kind of topsy turvy, he's gonna make cricket paths straight, y'all. So I'm I'm listening for his voice. I'm giving him praise in the process. And I'm going to keep moving and trucking and doing what he has called me to do in this season. But y'all, let me tell you something. It's scary. It's not even scary, y'all. It is scary. Like, that, I think that's past scary. <laughs> Somebody let me know something. Let me know what you do. When all the plans that you have made, all the things that you thought were supposed to be in place, uh, go haywire. When all the things that you thought were a thing, 
Hold on, y'all. All right. Okay. Oh, no. Here we go. So, <laughs> what do you do? What are we doing? How do we do this? How do we... How do you make it through a space that doesn't make sense to you? Huh? Uh, wait, what am I doing? I'm posting to this other page. Because at the end of the day, honestly, like... I have to believe that God has something. I don't really have to. I choose to. I choose to believe that God has something great in store. Listen, tomorrow is my daddy's birthday. He'll be 75 years old. And I know that my dad has seen a lot of life. He's lived a lot of life. He's got a lot of stories. Um, and I'm grateful because I know God is blessing him. God is blessing my parents continually. Like I've seen it. I see it in action each and every day. I see their dedication to him and I see them um, persevere and, and, and push um, even when they might not understand why a thing is happening or how a thing is happening. And God is, excuse me, uh, continually blessing, overwhelmingly so. And I pray that God continues to do it even more. I pray that he uh, blesses them so ridiculously that it doesn't even make sense. Like people be like, what? Oh, that's, the kind, that's the kind of blessing that I want for my parents. Not just because I'm in their lineage and the blessings will flow down. Hallelujah. I receive it though. But because my parents have been so faithful, because my 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 parents have been so um dedicated to uh, God and uh his work through them on this earth. So many people have come to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ because of my parents. So many people have um their lives have been uh, changed and the trajectory of their lives and the course of their lives changed because of my parents being a, a catalyst for change, being uh, the help that God gave them in a time of trouble. And I am so, I'm so grateful. And I'm believing that God will ridiculously bless my father and my mother like way beyond. And God will bless me and God will bless my son. God will bless my sister and my niece and my nephews. And hold on, y'all. I whoo, I feel something. Yeah, yeah. My help, my help comes from the Lord. My help comes from the Lord. <laughs> yes, it does. Who of my help comes from the Lord? God, I thank you for this music this morning. That was Angela Moss Pool with my help. Before that, we heard Ty Tribbett, Get Up. That's new music from him. And we start off our hour with Dawkins and Dawkins, Come By Here. God is coming through. He's showing up. He's doing things. And I'm excited about it. We've got more great music on the way. We're shouting out churches and pastors inside the church check-in, also taking requests. So if you want to hear a song, there's a song you feel like is going to get your day started off right, give me a call. 904-831-1079 is the number to call. More great music coming up. Best Mike Jr., JJ Harrison. Ooh. <laughs> 
Yeah, that JJ Harrison song. I'm excited about that. We'll talk about it in a minute. <laughs> We're praise 107.9. Yeah, sorry. Got excited about the J.J. Harrison song because uh, it's that uh, go-go joint. <laughs> Y'all know I'm from D.C., right? Uh, I might not be too D.C., but I love go-go. It's like on the inside of me. I was born in Washington, D.C., so I feel like it's like part of my DNA. Anyway, <laughs> I'm grateful to God this morning for just how he shows up. Because he does. He keeps showing up. He keeps showing up. He keeps showing me. And I'm just going to talk for me. He keeps showing me how much he loves me. How much he cares. That it doesn't matter what is going on, what's happening, what uh feels like, oh my goodness. I can look to him and be like, all right, God, you got me. And I'm good. God, you got me. So I'm good. Say that to yourself, for yourself, rather, this morning. God, you got me. So I'm good. Because life will happen. Things will happen. But God. If he brought you to it, he'll bring you through it. We can say all of the things that help us like you know, to get through. But at the end of the day, God really is doing a thing. God really is like uh, changing minds and lives. God really is changing situations. God really is allowing things to go. <laughs> Just so when he sets it right, it's all the way right. Not halfway right, not part of the way right, not like uh, kind of, sort of, maybe. <laughs> God, you got me, so I'm good. I encourage you to say that to yourself today. God, you got Mario, you know, good morning. You know. <laughs> and so in spaces and places we don't understand, like, God, I thought you said to do this. I thought you told me to do this. I thought you said, hey, let's let's go here. Let's make these plans. Let's all of this. And then it don't it don't do right. But God, you got me, so I'm good. First of all, let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all something because just, I just got real excited. How about the thing that God told me to do, and I did it, being able to have the, the space and opportunity and the, and the resources to do it, like, oh, okay, God, you, you made a way for me to do these things. Like, I never thought, like, this would be just say, hey, let's do it. Hey, let's do it. Hey, let's do it. And God allowed me to do it. Like, he allowed me to have the resources and the time and the space available to do this thing. Now, when the process that I thought he had me in gets upended and topsy-turvy and the flight is canceled from the uh, airline and I'm like, God, you told me to go there. So what do I do now? Instead of scrambling, which I was doing, because I'm like, uh, Lord, I'm supposed, I'm supposed to do something, Jesus. You said to do it. But I praise God for the fact that uh, he gave me the resources to be able to do it. He gave me the space to be able to move in that particular way. Because a few months before, I would not have been able to do that. I wouldn't have been able to expend these resources without a second thought. So let me praise God for the space that I'm in 
to be able to do the thing, even though right now it's suspended, it's upended, it's something. I don't know where it is right now. And I don't know what he wants me to do. But you know what? I'm going to praise God in the way because he's going to work it out. God, you got me. So I'm good. Mario, God, he got you. So you good. Whatever the company's saying right now, whatever they're trying to do, whatever, blah, blah, blah. God is doing something. You can't convince me otherwise. The way things are going topsy turvy, the way things are trying to thwart and cancel and 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 karate chop and slice and dice and fruit ninja this joint. Listen, God is doing something, <laughs> and so, all right, God. What's next? What you about to show me? What you about to do, God? Because you got me. So I'm good. <laughs> we about to do some things, y'all. God's about to show out. He is about to show out. So let us get in the way. Let us uh, show um uh let us show out. Let us show out for him today. God's got me, so I'm good. God's got you, so you're good. Things are going like this. <laughs> but God has got us. <laughs> Let me tell y'all something. This, this is a space I never thought I'd ever be in, right? <laughs> Cause it didn't make no, it doesn't make sense to me. Like it doesn't, like it doesn't make good American sense. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, uh, things seem crazy. Ha! Wait a second. Wait a second. <laughs> I gotta listen to this. Like, wait. <laughs> it's that go go. It's J J Harrison and uh, featuring Philip Bryant and um. What's them and them pocket of hope with uh you are lord of all i need y'all to listen to that song y'all want a good go-go beat to get you going in the morning <laughs> you are lord of all amen um okay sorry but <laughs> let me let me show you how this ties in though i was just listening for the beat but uh think of the message of the song you are lord of all you are Lord of all the good days and bad days. You are Lord of all the things that upend. Uh, you are Lord of all of the things that don't make sense to me. But God, you got me. <laughs> so I'm good. I need you to make that declaration over yourself today and every day moving forward. Whatever comes your way, whatever seems to be upended, whatever seems to have turned on his back, whatever seems to have gone haywire, God, you've got me, so I'm good. I'm not worried about the things that don't make sense. I'm not worried about the things that have been la, 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 la. I am worried about the fact that you've got me, so I'm not worried. You know what I'm saying? Like, that is where my focus is. I'm not focused on the worry. I'm not focused on the problem. I'm focused on the problem solver. I'm focused on the one. The God who spoke the world into existence is the same God who is concerned about me. It's the same God who is allowing these experiences to happen. The same God who, in a space of, I don't know, I don't understand what, what is happening. He's still got us. Doesn't matter what the government says. Doesn't matter what uh, the people say. What does God say? And what is he telling you? I believe one of the things he's saying is to trust him. And believe him and rely on him past what you think, past what you see, past what you're experiencing right now. I encourage you to put yourself in a space of trusting him past these things that you see right in front of your face. You see all of this, and it's like, whoa. <laughs> but beyond this space, we got a God who said, let there be light. And whoo, light that had never been happened. So we bless God this morning. And we 
make the shift. We make the paradigm shift to say, God, you got me, so I'm good. God, you got me, so I'm good. I'm making that declaration over myself and over you today. God, you got me. God, you got me. God, you gotta got me. <laughs> Sometimes we be there too. God, you gotta got me. So I'm gonna be good. Maybe you can't say you're good in the moment because it don't feel good. It don't look good. It don't smell good. It don't sound good. None of the goods is, is there except God. And he <laughs> is good. So God, you got me. So I'm good. And declare that until it is true for you. Just declare it until it becomes real to you. Declare it until you are restored, elevated, affirmed, and liberated. I didn't mean to go there, but let's talk about it. Let's be real about it. Let's remember that it's a process. We don't just automatically get there. We don't just arrive in the space. We have to have some restoration of our thought processes and how we uh, figure out things. But anyway, that's for another live right now. I'm going to tell y'all to use today to set the tone for your week. Speak God's promises over your life because they are yes and amen. Speak them out of your mouth so you can hear them yourself and everyone and everything around you can here as well. Lord willing and the creek don't rise. I'll see y'all again next week. <laughs> well, not next week. I won't see you next week. We'll talk about it though. All right, y'all. Have an amazing week.